Well, <laughs> it could be North Carolina. Uh, so I mean, farmers got about that much snow or maybe more, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. It's Monday night again. I'm working in the shop on the Oliver. Got the wood stove going. <laughs> Got a nice fire going in there. Got the fan going to warm up the shop. Got all my return lines on, got all the clamps on them. And uh, tonight we're working on this. Uh, yeah, tonight I'm gonna get that shaft out of there. Uh, I did learn, uh, called a buddy of mine He's got an INT manual. He says you got to take a snap ring out. So you got to take the clutch packs apart. And we're going to do that. Get that shaft out. Get it back in the tractor. I've got the gasket for here. So we might get that back together. But uh, I've also got to fix my saw. I run it uh, yesterday and it wasn't yet using any bar oil so there's something wrong with the bar oil pump so anyhow that's what we're up to tonight it's not too bad in the shop so i'll bring you back all right well that was easy enough all that do is go through that window take that snap ring and the groove in here which brings that bearing off. It needs cleaned up. And pulls this cage off of these clutch discs, which I'll have to line these all back up, which I don't know. They're all out in the open, so that should be easy. And then there was a snap ring, which ends up back in here in this second groove. Now I can pull the shaft out, put it back in the track. So anybody for anybody that doesn't know Oliver's had a tendency to uh, they had a tendency to tear this spline up where it goes into the clutch because this is dry it goes into the back of the clutch and uh, I replaced the one in a 1750 I also had to replace the coupler that it goes into in the clutch course I had to replace the clutch because that tractor that tractor was a total rebuild so yeah so it got a new PTO shaft a new clutch and everything so but yeah this is what I'm doing I'm just gonna pull that out of there uh, clean the splines up put that back in the tractor uh, this spline here you have to line this up. That is the drive for the hydraulic pump, which is in the housing right there. That's a high pressure oil filter. Uh, Oliver runs Oliver runs a hydraulic pump in the oil and doesn't run a suction screen, but they run a high pressure filter in that canister right there. Uh, yeah, they run that up until uh, the 55 series when they went to closed center hydraulics. So, anyhow, that's where we're at. I'm going to pull this shaft out of here and stick it in a tractor. So, hold on. Okay, got the shaft in there. It engaged two splines. First one being the PTO or the hydraulic pump and then the clutch and it's tight uh, wiped everything off I need to go get the gasket for it I'll wash this off that's nice and smooth 
I don't know if you can see the clutch discs in there. I think somebody's had this apart. They've uh, they've kind of mushroomed and pounded on things here. I don't know if you can see it on that nut right there. They've not busted it loose. Uh, this gasket had silicone on it, so I'm pretty sure somebody's put uh, somebody's been into this and. As far as I know, I run the log splitter with it, and it wasn't slipping, so I'm not going to tear this apart. And if it does slip, it's easy enough to fix, because there's four bolts that comes off the back, and uh, you can put new clutches in it. That ain't no big deal. So I'm going to go get the gasket for that, and uh, I'll bring you back. All right. I got the gasket on, I got the shaft in, I got this piece all cleaned up, bearing spins free, uh, yeah this gasket was six dollars and some change from the Agco dealer, but uh, it cost eight dollars in shipping to get it here, so. I don't know where it come from. Destination. Um, doesn't say. Come from Agco. <laughs> so anyhow, yeah. Eight dollars to get it here. Six dollar gasket. So, all right, we're ready to put the PTO housing back on. So let me uh, bring you back. All right, I got her bolted up there. Uh, I use these long bolts as a handle. Let me tell you what, it's heavy, but it ain't near as heavy as uh, the one on the 1750. Uh, yeah, the one on the 1750 is pretty twice as heavy as that, and it takes two guys, if not uh, a loader tractor, to put it in there. Uh, I remember right, the 285 was even heavier yet, so, uh, yeah. I torqued the bolts, uh, I don't know, I torqued them up about 85 foot-pounds with this long extension on them, so I'm sure they're uh, probably just barely tight enough, but they're pretty tight. And, uh, yeah, you get that shaft in there, I had to open the garage door and lose all my heat, so. Anyhow, now I'm going to put that bell cover back on there and put all my snap rings. Um, there's a snap ring. Goes in this back groove. And there's a snap ring that grows in this outer groove. And then, uh... Yeah, the snap ring in the outer groove goes last, and the snap ring that goes in this notch here goes in first. So, all right, I'll bring you back. All right, well, I kind of realized that I didn't have to take these snap rings out at all. If I'd have just taken that internal one out. I gotta pull that bell, the shaft, and everything right out of there. So, lesson learned. I suppose I should have got a manual for it, but either way, <clears throat> PTO shafts in. I greased the splines. I used them bolts to lift the thing in there. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna bolt the cover back on it. Slide this in. Put the snap ring in. Put the cover back on it. Uh, I think I'm gonna call it a night. It's getting late. Uh, I might look check out the chainsaw and see if I need parts for it. But uh, yeah, this video is getting long anyhow. So that's what I'm doing tonight. And uh, thanks for watching. All right, one more thing. I wanted to show you. I got the cover on. Shafts in. Um, I put the bolts in, or put the pin in that. Uh, I don't know if you can hear it, it shifts slop. It snaps over center. It locks. 
Yeah, it does lock in the brake position, so uh, I think we're good. Uh, we're gonna figure out where to pump the oil back into it at. I got new fresh oil over there in the bucket and uh, this should be good to go. I uh, think I am gonna put some weld on that there weld looks like chicken crap and that in there looks like chicken crap so I'm gonna grind that out and re-weld it and uh, that'll be another video and uh, hook the starter up and we'll get her going again so all right thanks for watching